Hello all. In this video, let us learn about the assembly program to count the positive and negative numbers in an array. So, in a sign hexadecimal number, how the number, sign of a number will be identified? It will be identified based on the value present in the most significant bit. So, the hexadecimal number is represented by a 8 bit. Most significant bit represents the sign. If the most significant bit is 0, the number is said to be positive. If the most significant bit is 1, the number is said to be negative. So, let us consider the size of an array is 6. It may be varied. In an example here we are discussing, we have considered the array size as 6. And all these 6 numbers is present in the external memory location. Say for example, it begins from the address 9000. 9001, 2, 3, 4 and 9005 are the 6 different memory locations which are having 6 different 8 bit numbers. So, what we have to check each and every number is a positive or negative. So, for which what we have to do? I have to take the number in the first memory location and I have to, cons I have to check whether the most significant bit is 0 or 1. So, how will I check this? Let us use RLC instruction. That is, I am rotating this number towards left through carry. If the carry is 0 or 1, I will be checking it through JC or JNC instruction by which I will be identifying whether the number is positive or negative. Once after rotating this number towards left through carry, I will be checking using JC. If the number, if the bit is 0, it is said to be positive. If the bit is 1, it is said to be negative. As a user or a programmer, we shall do store the result in the register R0 and R1. Let us do store the count of positive numbers in the register R0, count the negative numbers in the register R1. So, this is the basics. What we are doing, considering the array size as 6, 6 memory locations are there which is consisting of 6 numbers. Each and every number I have to take, I have to rotate it towards left through carry. I have to check the carry bit. If it is 0, it is said to be positive, then I have to increment R0. If the carry bit is 1, it is said to be negative, then I have to increment R1. So, this is what we have to do. So, based on this analogy, we shall try to write the assembly program for the same. Let us try to store the set of instructions in the form of a program from the memory location 00H in the ROM, R-O-M. So, for which I am writing the instruction ORG 00H. As we are storing the results in the register R0 and R1, initially we shall write or move the value 00 into it. So, move R0, hash 00, move R1, hash 00. As the size of the array is 6, let us also store this in the register. Say for example, R2, move R2, hash 06H. This is the array size which may be varied depending upon the case. So, as we are using the carry bit here, let us make it 0 initially by using the CLRC instruction. As the array begins from the memory location 9000, let us also store this initial memory location of an array in a register. As it is an external memory location, definitely it has to be stored in the register DPTR. So, move DPTR comma hash 9000 H. So, let us take the first data <coughs> present in the first memory location 9000 H into accumulator. So, for which we are using the instruction move X A comma at DPTR. So, the data present in the first memory location is now in the accumulator. So, what we have to do? I have to rotate it towards left through carry to check the most significant bit. So, for which I will be using the instruction R L C a. So, once if I execute this instruction, the more, most significant bit is there in the carry flag. So, I have to check whether the carry flag is 0 or 1 by using the instruction JC. I am telling jump if carry to loop. Where we have to write the loop? Let us write somewhere here. What does it mean if carry is 1? It has to jump to loop. What does it mean if carry is equal to 1? The number is negative. If the number is negative, I have to keep the count in the register R1. So, let us increment R1 when if the carry is set, that is the number is negative. 
if the number is positive what i have to do the value will be zero and i have to keep the count in the register r not so i'll write i n c r not here so either this should be executed or this should be executed once not necessary both to be executed so once if this is executed i have to skip this instruction so i'll write the instruction sjmp loop 1 or something else also can be written but the same thing has to be used so in the loop 1 I have to write the instruction such that I have to check all the numbers present in this memory location for which I am incrementing the DPTR and I have to repeat this how many times based on the size of the array. So, 6 times I have to repeat and 6 we have already stored in the register R2. So, we shall use the instruction DJNZ. I have to decrement the register R2 until it becomes 0. I have to repeat. What instruction? I am telling that it has to go back. So, let us go back here and whatever the value present in the DPTR after incrementing that is again copied to A. So, the same set of instructions will be repeated. Once after R2 is 0, it comes out of the loop and I have to end my program. Once after completing the program execution where we have to check the result in the register R0 and R1. R0 will give the positive numbers count and R1 will give the negative numbers count. Stop on the video. Mm.